Yep. I'm on. Yep. Look, friends. What a beauty. A big pack stonker. This must be, I reckon, about 42 or something. I'll measure up later. But look at the size of this beast. What a beauty. Okay, look at these babies go. Beautiful blackfish. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Stormy day. Rain's coming. Ah, oh, crud. Rain. My timing's not so good. I'm off to collect some cabbage. Alba, according to John Runcy, my PhD friend. Alba. Beautiful day. Great way to spend the morning before work. And hopefully, I catch some fish. Target species today. Black fish. Look at draining out the water. Ah. Ah. Waterfall. Cascading. Try not to get the shoes wet, but the shoes are already wet. Too late. Everybody, my time has come. Turn shivers down my spine. My body's aching all the time. Ah, wet shoe. Too late. Too late. Woo -hoo. That woke me up. Uh -huh. That's the kind of weed we're talking about, brother. I see it. The hunt for the weed. I can feel it in my waters. There is good weed here. Follow, follow the trail. Follow the money. Mm -mm. Oh, the weed. Yes, yes, yes. That's good stuff here. But uh, let's keep looking. Right in front of me, in front of those breaking waves, one has to be careful. Is this beautiful alba, it's commonly known as sea cabbage. Here in abundance, take what you need only. But you can see amidst the rock pools, all that drains out. And that's where the beautiful blackfish are likely to sit and feed. Look at that. Beautiful, nice and green and healthy. Beautiful. Let's get the other cabbage. Try and get the root of it. talk now I've got my old Gary Howard 10 foot 6 rod blackfish estuary blackfish rod it is a very whippy fiberglass rod as you can see simple to use 10 foot 6 3 to 5 kilograms uh, I'm yet to get an LV but I've just used one of my Shimano thread lines spin uh, and got a float of course this is a bit of a hybrid with the float Oops. And several split shots going all the way to a size, uh, I think a 10 or 12 small hook. Very, very small green hook to disguise it. A lot of split shot because it's a bit lumpy down here. And what we might do is burly up before we chuck a bit of this thing out. The beautiful weed I caught. Let's chop it up and then add it to sand. Let's mix it up with sand. Maybe get a bit of a clumpier one. A bit wetter maybe in a way. Yeah, that would work. Mix it all up. Bit of green here. Green there, and to keep them interested, all 
Right, let's try this now. That's my flight float rig. We we'll chuck it right there. Let it float down. Floating, floating, floating. Let it freeze full out. Keep watching the float over there as it goes out. Rod tip down and let it peel off bit by bit like so. Yeah. Keep watching. Keep watching. Yep. I'm on. Yep. Yep. Oh. oh. Yeah, big fight. Look at that. Take your time. Good drag. Oh yeah. Good fight. Blackfish. We'll get some, buddy. Hold on, I'm gonna bring it to, to the shore. I have to go to the shore. He's fighting really hard. Oh, it's a big, big, big one. I know, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I gotta do. My big fat leg. Exactly. Come on, I'll do it slowly. There we go, nice and slow. Oh yeah, nice and slow. It's a beauty, it's a big fat one. Oh, oh yeah, this is how it's done, nice and slow. Up the jetty. Oh, it's fighting really hard. Yeah, it's alright, I've got it. I got him! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Victory is ours! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, what a beauty! A nice fat one too! Oh, oh buddy, look at that! Textbook, textbook. This is a nice fat one. Caught fair and square. Caught fair and square. Look at that right inside the mouth. There, inside the mouth. Wow, textbook. I'm so proud of you, Joe. I'm so proud of you. All right, all right, let's flip it around. Look, friends, what a beauty. A big fat stonker. This must be. I reckon about 42 or something. I'll measure up later. But look at the size of this beast. What a beauty. What an absolute beauty. Thick and heavy, as you can see. Look at the girth of this thing. Fresh weed, good technique. With the help of YouTube and all the old timers giving you tips. That's what sharing knowledge is all about. Well friends, what can I say? Trophy fish. Trophy fish, absolute trophy fish. My wife will be so happy, my daughter loves this. I've only just started learning how to catch littering. It's amazing what you can learn through YouTube, a little bit of perseverance. It's about my third time catching littering, and this is probably my PB. So I'm absolutely delighted. Well, thank you for joining me. Let's go get a couple more. Do you reckon I should bleed it now? Because I haven't got a catch bag and I'll only be fishing for an hour or so. Oh, I don't think it matters. Really. Doesn't matter? It, no, but I bleed them as soon as I get Catch them, right? It's in on the drum with water in it. All right. Uh, if you only had one bite. One bite? My first cast. Oh, that might be right too. And then I'll nick off. All right. Yeah, that's what I Is it? All right. Well, let's bleed this little friend straight away. 
Let's bleed it. That's gonna feed my family. Blackfish. Yeah, blackfish. They taste better than brim. They're beautiful when they're fresh. Yeah. Very sweet. My dad used to catch blackfish all the time. Got to eat them when they're fresh. Fresh, yeah. And you've got the weed. Yeah. I've got the weed. And what's that? A bit of burly. Yeah. Oh, Put it up okay. with sand. You chuck it down. Yeah. And it brings them in. Very good. Very good. You're an expert. No, I just learned how to do it. It's about <laughs> two sessions ago. I posted it on YouTube. Oh, really? Check it out. It's called Joe Ninja Fisherman. <laughs> It's funny when you don't know how to fish <laughs> and you document all your errors. Yeah, you got to bleed that. Bleed them, that's right. My dad used to say that too. That's right. Very good. Well, friends, welcome again to Joe Ninja Fisherman. Not a bad effort this morning. I went out with the intention of targeting blackfish and I've rigged up all my uh, floats and rods today. And I finally caught a nice big chunky one. It's probably around 40, 38. I'll measure it in a moment. I'm delighted that I can share this with you. If you haven't uh, subscribed or liked my videos, please do. I'm trying to grow the channel and it's growing bit by bit. Um, this one fish is going to feed my family and I think I might cook up a little bit of a storm. Something Asian influence, I think. So stay tuned right till the end of the video and I will cook something that I think you might find quite tasty. Yeah, like, help yourself. Uh, I hope to see you back uh, here again. We are secretive, us old pricks, mate. I'll tell you that, <laughs> you old buggers. No, nah, that's all right. I, just a tiny bit more. That's it. Do you mind? You know, I was thinking, why don't you take the lot? Yeah, but you'll be fishing. No, I won't. Work? No, I'll tell you what, mate. Take it, I'm gonna have to go home. you take the lot. tomorrow, are you? I gotta work, so this is gonna go yeah, off. So you take work, you work tomorrow. Yeah. All right. You take the lot. No, I wouldn't take a man. No, no, no. That's fine, cause I gotta go and I gotta mow the lawn. Then I, I might. Ah, oh, you got lawns to mow. Well, you give it away. I've, 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 I've only got a leave pass for so long. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's, I it's, know what you mean. it's better you take the weed, cause otherwise it's gonna go off. I'll certainly try. Yep. It's, it's like a. Um, it's like a backwater at the back end. It still runs back for another two hours. Okay. You know, it won't run back yeah. until the tide start has run out two hours. Yes. Then it starts to run back the other way. Okay. So yeah, you got a bit more time. So I might, yeah, depending who's there. Hope you, well, I hope you catch something. Well, I'm well, going to throw this out now. I'll guard this. I'm working for two days, so I'll guard that. One of the things I've noticed about blackfish fishing is that it's quite a secretive sport. As you saw, I met a fine gentleman and I think it's important to take only what you need and also to share uh, with the bait. So I've given him all my bait so he doesn't have to climb rocks again. And uh, I learn a lot from people on the jetties and it's great to meet generous people who are uh, inclined to share all the pearls of wisdom of how to catch fish. And it's also important to pass it on to the next generation. So I hope to be able to share with you more tips in the future. Maybe not my secret spots, but at least how I'm learning in my journey of becoming a better fisherman. Once again, thank you all for joining right to the end of this video. Joe Ninja Fisherman coming to you live from Etalong Beach, Australia. <laughs> Look at that, what a beauty. Very proud of that. Very, very proud of that coming to you live from Joe Ninja Fisherman. That's my dinner. Wife and daughter are gonna not go hungry. What a beautiful fish. Mm, beautiful fish. There you go, in the bucket. And then in the nice clean car, right in the car. And I think the car might start to stink of fish soon, but never mind. Oh, and the spirit of catching nice, lovely fish. You got to, wow, you got to see this to believe this. This thing is chunky and it's 41. It's a big, lovely 41. Look at that. That's, that's nearly my PB, I think. But look how thick it is. The body of this thing is thick and chunky. That's going to feed us really well. Beautiful. Thank you very much, fish, for feeding my family. Thank you. Thank you very much. Time to clean you, Mr. Fishy. Time to clean you.
Clean out all the guts. And the most important thing is to get that black lining out of there. All that lining needs to come out. There, hole. Get rid of all that lining. The gills. Get rid of that. Nice and clean. Guts. And it's important to remove all that black. Remove all that black lining. There you have it, a nice fish cleaned up and ready. Beautiful, beautiful. Now that's not a bad effort. I can see right through it, right into the light. So I'm quite happy again, not much wastage on this fish. As you can see, two beautiful slabs of blackfish that we caught the other day. It's been aged in the fridge for about a day and I'm very, very keen to try this. Let's see what we can cook up with this nice piece of slabs of meat. G'day okay friends, thank you for joining me again. Guess what's on the menu tonight? Beautiful blackfish that we caught the other night. It's beer battered fish and chips with twice roasted potatoes. I hope you can join me till the end and watch me scoff this beautiful succulent fish. These are our ingredients, rice flour, baking powder, normal flour, and of course the most important ingredient is the Block and Tackle Extra Pale Ale from Central Coast. We might give that a crack right now. Here are beautiful cutlets of fish and we're gonna dust it with some rice flour. Let's mix it and dust it all up. Add some baking powder. Well, here we have flour, rice flour, baking powder, pinch of salt, and as you can see, a beautiful dusted uh, fillets with uh, the rice flour. Mm, nice little fatty nuggets of blackfish. Ooh, that's look very nice. Yum yum, look at these beautiful twice roasted truffle potatoes, twice baked, yum yum, look at that, golden, golden, yum. That's nice. You're almost ready friends, you are almost ready for me. Time to take them out. Ooh, they're heavy, you can feel the thud. Let's cook the rest. Oh, listen to that crunch. Oh, perfect beer battered. All right, have a taste of that, darling, and tell me if you like it. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Very good. Oh, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, that's really good. That's really good. All right, for all you fishermen out there catching fish for the family, go get yourself some blackfish because this is a real good dish. That is good, mum. Can you believe that blackfish is feeding the three of us? Ooh, that's my share. Look at that. Big chunky flesh. Big chunky flesh. Well, that sounds crunchy. That batter's beautiful. Block and tackle beer battered uh, blackfish. That is crunchy. My turn to try some of this. Ooh. Oh, shuddering, thrill in my spine. This is beautiful. Blackfish is better than Taylor for sure. You're right about that. This is really good.